What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Sarah coming at you again with another reaction video. And today we're gonna go ahead and watch Demon Slayer season four, episode two, Water Hashira Gyu, uh Tamioka's Pain. And obviously, you know, there's a big reason why that episode is named this because as we see, you know, after kind of like the last episode, after Hashiras have their meeting, we see the uh Tomiuka seems to be a little bit kind of like down. We don't really know why, but he seems like maybe he's like self-doubt. He doesn't feel like maybe I'm thinking maybe he doesn't think that he's actually as on par as the other Hashers, maybe you think he's a fluke and stuff like that. And I don't know, because it's like, realistically, it's like, I mean, we've seen like how strong he was. It's like, you know, in the beginning, but it's like, we really haven't seen anything afterwards. Obviously, you know, we saw Uzui, you know, he's gone up in the upper moon and won. Uh, Mitsuri and Murichiro, they've won against the uh, upper rank Hashir, I mean, upper rank uh, demon. So it's like, maybe it's like, maybe he's thinking like, damn, I mean, you know, these guys are out here taking out upper ranks, making a change. And the demon slayer corpse like society and it's like but me it's like what have i done maybe that's i think that's kind of like maybe what he's thinking but i'm not really sure but you know a little bit more just uh, about the last episode we do see you know inosuke is and it's back you know they are over here able to see you know uh nezuko is out here talking and in the sun <laughs> and those actually being a kind of a little menace and teaching you know and uh teaching teaching Nezuko basically just how to say his name, you know, just going Onosuke, Onosuke, Onosuke over and over again to the point where she even called Zenitsu Onosuke and that set him off. He he was not happy. <laughs> but it looks like, you know, the saddest thing about it all is that we see the master is in terrible condition and his wife, uh, Mane, is basically, you know, kind of stepping as the head right now, the Demon Slayer corpse and going ahead and giving the Hashira missions and stuff and going ahead and talking with them. And, you know, we see that, you know, he seems like it's not too much time left going. We did see it's like since the beginning, we've known he's had this like disease, like this, like I'm guessing it's like a demon disease. Uh, basically, that's just kind of caused him blindness and just like actually like like crippled him like to the point where it's like he's just not able to move anymore. So we are unfortunately seeing probably the end of him soon, but I guess we're going to have to find out. Um, I am super excited, though, just to see what's going on with Gyu. So this, demon, this is going to be Demon Slayer season four. How's your training arc? Episode two. Water Hashira Gyu Tomioka's pain. Let's do it. Mm. Mm, this is a big thing too. The bird came. Go ahead and bring your ass over to the Demon Slayer Corpse. I was thinking it was a demon or something. Like maybe you moves on like a bird form. <laughs> ユシロは。ユシロ君は心配いりませんよ。ほら。ダブルズムーヴィン。ヒーウォズオンザウェイ。ヒーウォズオンザウェイ。ヒーウォズオンザウェイ。ヒーウォズオンザウェイ。
No. How do you actually... How do you cheer somebody up? Damn, now he's getting advice before he goes to give advice. <laughs> so that's what but they really got him out here on two like broken feet just walking. <laughs> he was just close? Like he wasn't like that far? Like just yelling at this man. <laughs> Be annoying. He said, he said, bro, you just gonna break in? <laughs> Why are you popping like that? Oh, why would you not like you, you gotta make sure what's wrong? See what's wrong? Oh, see, yeah, that's what I was talking about. I was like, well, so we really thought that was gonna happen. He said, you, I wanted you to replace me, man. Mm -hmm. So he left his clothes. Come on, bro. Wow. I didn't expect him just to kick him out. True. I'm weak. I'll say, watch him be in there. You are trespassing at this point. <laughs> he said, bro, if you don't get on my own. This is like the worst person, like worst way to try to get somebody who's having self-doubt. He tried to sleep at this point. <laughs> Tanjo is just invasive. Please. Hmm? So how did he become, how did he, how did he make it through? You know who that is. Alright, so he becomes a you're trying to peep that face. I don't know if that's what he's doing. i Oh, yeah, because he died against him. I remember. That was like the whole thing. He talked about killing him and the girl. Mm. I mean, I, I mean, it's like I can understand that, but still, like, you've, you've done your work, obviously, and you're, you're recognized. Sibunyorimo 
you can't just let that get you down i mean just like you know where goku told him it's like you can't just don't let this get you down just be stronger mm -hmm. i'm just gonna spoke the realest stuff right here the realest thing that he said man i'm getting sad all over again just thinking about that that was such a powerful moment Ooh. Hit him hard with it. Mm. Smack the hell out of him. Even got the Rengoku hair, you know, just got that. When they got that flowy orange hair, it just makes sense. They just tough. So you can't just let that go to waste, man. Exactly. Don't let the what, what your family and bro let it go to waste. Damn. So that, that's kind of like I was like, because he's so emotionless. So that's why I was. <laughs> now he, he said did, did i say the wrong thing did i mess up <laughs> Bro, what Itadio is a fanatic a goddamn freak he was already gonna say let's do it <laughs> oh my god うん。お前、お前がだ、ツイッチ。お。why is she angry? あの私私半と稽古したいです。うん。叶うもずいぶん自分の気持ちを素直に言えるようになりましたね。そしてその鬼の殺し方について。uh oh wait a minute uh oh wait, outro who's the demon <laughs> uh oh we're back with these <laughs> oh. i was wondering why i was like so... bro you guys just talk about not eating no more Nice. All right, well, that's good. That's good to know that, you know, next episode he's going to be joining uh, the Hoshers. I'm also, like, nice to see that the Tai, because I don't think the Taisho era secrets were there last season. I might be wrong, but I don't think they were. But that was a good episode. We see a little bit more on why Gyu has been the way he's been. Kind of like the whole time we've known about him and Demon Slayer. We see him. He uh, he was best like friends basically with Sabido, which was the spirit that Tanjiro actually sparred with and you know trained with when he was basically kind of coming into Demon Slayer Corpse. When he was Mister Urodaki, and basically you know uh, was learning basically water breathing. So we see that you know basically you know Sabido was kind of like this prodigy. Went ahead and during the selection saved everybody, even even Gyu. You know Gyu basically got attacked by the first demon he saw. He got injured and he wasn't able to fight anymore and passed out. When he came to came to, he found out that Sabido died, but he also passed. And you know, he's kind of feeling a little bit down and feeling that he's kind of like, you know, shouldn't be in this position. It should have been Sabido and stuff like that. You know, it's basically being like, I should have been the one that died. But as we see, you know, after Tanjiro hit him with the, you know, what do you like you don't you want to go ahead with he didn't trust you? We said, you know, he kind of got mad. Sabido back in the day got mad at him because he kind of felt that way because his sister died. 
he kind of felt like, you know, oh, I should have been the one to die. He was like, no, bro. He was like, you shouldn't have died. He was like, you should be happy. Like, you know, that your sister was able to go ahead and save you and you should want to go ahead and live on in her memory and do bet, do great by her. So now we're seeing, you know, Gyu is feeling a little bit better and is going to go ahead and join the Hasher training. But the big thing I want to know a little bit more about is what Shinobi's talking about with this demon. But, uh, when Kanai, Kane, I think it's like saying Kane, Kone, um, basically saying like, Hey, I'm not going to be doing in the Hajra training. She seemed pretty angry. So, and, um, basically, you know, I want to know, it's like, what it's, I'm going to guess one of the hot, the demon that killed her sister is probably one of the upper ranks, but I'm not really sure who it could be is the number one, two or three, because I mean, that's all we have at this point now. Because Zephyr and Muzan, I mean, Muzan, I feel like she probably would have brought that up if it was Muzan. But, so I wonder who it could be. And it seems like, yeah, there's a little bit of connection. So she's going to tell her how to go ahead and beat him. And we're going to have to find out, I guess, next episode. But I'm enjoying this. It's a good start to the season. It seems like we're going to get to Juicy. It seems a little informational and training. That's kind of what this is coming from this season. So I'm enjoying it, though. So I hope you guys did enjoy it as well. Please make sure to go ahead and go down, like, comment, and subscribe for more. And ring that notification bell so you get the notification when I drop a new video. But that's going to be it. I'm going to see you guys next time on Demon Slayer. Peace.